So we're basically out of here already. Well, no, oh, you silly muppet. Well, that's that's a bit silly. We're, we're, we're almost out of here now. Now that we've gone back up, so let's move on. Now I did get the item down there, so that's fine. Let's go. Oh, come on. We need to talk to Jesse, I think, to get the door open again. <laughs> Three damage. Oh no! Jesse, open the door, please. Wow, you moved down quick. Look at him go. Oh, I thought I could do it then. Oh, come on! Ugh. Just testing me, game. You're testing me. Now that I've said that about the time limit, you're like, hmm, we should just up the encounter rate to, like, every single step. Be careful! Oh shit, now we have to talk to uh, <laughs> Biggs now. And we're out of there with over five minutes to spare. Jesse falling over again? Whoa! Oh, that little ring there. You know it's a powerful explosion when you see the shockwave. Kind of like the Death Star blowing up. Just a little longer. So, you know, we've, we've blown up this reactor and, uh, well, we're basically like a, I don't know, a rebel group. And we like to blow shit up by the looks of things. Calm down, Wedge. Do you think they call him Wedge? Because he's kind of big and probably wedges himself in doorways? I don't know. Rendezvous at the Sector 8 station. Split up and get on the train. Seems wise, actually. Splitting up. Okay. Because we want to get paid. That was uh, quite an ordeal. Well, not really. Piece of piss, actually, but still want to get paid. Loveless. And this this is actually one of my favourite tracks in the game, this piece of music. It's just so eerie. And uh, we've seen this girl before, haven't we? Flower girl. Excuse me? What happened? Now, um, there is a system in this game that I'm not going to go into really right now, but there are certain things you can you can say at certain points to certain characters and uh, it determines an event later on. So I don't know what to say here. Um, I'm going to say, usually I say nothing, hey listen, but I, I'm going to do it a bit differently this time. You'd better get out of here. Really? I don't know what's going on, but alright. Ah. Now usually when I check the other option, you get to, like, buy flowers from her. So that's kind of cool that we did... Well, it's just a bit different, I suppose. This place looks like a bit of a mess, actually. Everyone's running around crazy. I suppose I would if there was a giant explosion. Ooh! Electricity. Let's talk to you. Oh, now this is the guy! This has always bugged the hell out of me. Why does this guy have such a large text box? Because that's all he says. He never says anything else. 
What made him so special to get all that space when he just wastes it? Another potion. Sorry about the rant. That just always bugged me. I don't know why. Don't be fooled by Shinra. Mako energy doesn't last forever. Mako is the planet's life source. The end is in sight. We're all doomed. Protectors of the planet. Avalanche. So, we, we, we sort of see our goal as being a bit of a noble one, but we have done, we, you know, I think we may have killed a few people doing that. For the greater good, who knows? Soldier, hey, you there. Um, now you can fight them, but honestly, not much point. Because as you'll see, they just keep on coming, and eventually... You're sort of surrounded. That's as far as you go. Now Cloud is a bit of a badass here. I will give him that. That would take some serious guts and legs of steel. And that's the second train we've been on top of. In like, in like the space of 20 minutes. And it just so happens to be the exact train, well, or is it, that these guys are on. They didn't bother waiting for me. No way. Cloud. They dismissed that noise rather quickly. Ooh, bad time to mention that. Yep. Barrett's a bit of a hothead. He likes to smack things. Like, you'll see... He, I mean, you just saw it then, but... He's got some anger issues. What the hell is going on? Whoa, hey, hey. Bit of a somersault. Very nice. So casual. Come waltzing in here, making a big scene. It's no big deal, it's just what I always do. Shit. Oh, he was worried about us. Oh, did he just beat his chest then? You better not do. We're moving out. Okay, follow the leader. Cheers, man. I'd say the same, but you weren't. Do even better next time. That's the spirit. I like your bandana, by the way. And Jesse's got one as well. In fact, they probably all wear one. I don't know why I've just singled him out. That's it, Jesse. Your face is pitch black. It's probably because I've been on top of a train in a really shitty tunnel. Thank you. Uh, not a problem. Not a problem. Now, one another thing I like, compared to like the, the PC version, these characters don't seem to have mouths, and I just kind of like that for some reason. I don't know why. Wow. Interesting fashion. Uh, last train, out of Sector 8 station. Last stop is Sector 7. Train graveyard. Sounds nice. So it's like well after midnight. He made one hell of a thump when he sat down there. He's a big fella. Nice suit. He's got bloodshot eyes. Like, is that a legitimate detail that they put in because it's so late and he's working? I don't know. Kind of, he looks really bloodshot. In fact, a few of them do. Is that just an emulator bug? I don't know. Let's chat to you, sir. This is my house, so make yourselves at home. Let's chat to this bald gentleman. Bald, not ball. Terrorists that bombed the number one reactor are based somewhere in the slums. Hmm. They must have a real calculating leader. 
<laughs> I like the fact that Barrett sort of looks over them as if to say, yeah, that's me. I wouldn't say he's calculating, but he, he must have, you know, planned this quite sort of well, I suppose. Security mode. Let's talk to Jesse. You want to look at this with me? What is it? There's a map of Midgar rail system. Now, is that the first time we've been told the name of the city we're in? I think it is. Bombs and monitors, you know, flashy stuff. One to ten thousand scale. Fifty meters above ground. That is quite a tall structure. Okay. Well, the number one reactor we blew up was in the northern section. Eight in total. Gotcha. Each town used to have a name, but no one in Mintgar remembers them. That is kind of sad. When you think about it. Just a number. No name. That's a bit fancy. Fake IDs, very sensible. Whoa. When the lights go off, you never know what kind of creeps will come out. I'll bear that in mind. I know. Next time, I'll give you one I made myself. Uh... What are you talking about? Is she talking about IDs, or what? Looking forward to it. May oh, a bomb? Maybe? I don't know. She sound she's a bit unstable, I think. She has an unhealthy obsession with bombs. Sorry. Okay, so what do we do now? City don't have no day or night. Ah, so it's obscuring the uh, the sun. That would be pretty miserable. What's that supposed to mean? You just full of surprises. I am not going to try and imitate his voice, because right? I can't even imagine what he sounds like. Bit of a Mr. T ripoff. Pizza? Mm, oh, darn, you're making me hungry. Money, I'm guessing. Yep. Yeah, that's a uh, possibility. No one lives in the slums because they want to. Oh, what a deep line. Cloud is quite the philosopher. It does look a bit miserable, but very nicely rendered FMVs. We seem to have arrived at our destination, Sector 7 station, where the punk rockers are getting off first, and uh, the little girl and the mum, it's really late for them to be out, isn't it? Jesse don't have time for steps, in fact none of them do. They all, yeah, they're all jumping down them, why don't they just walk down them, like normal people? Roll call, team meeting, whatever. Don't get lazy now. 
Hard part still to come. Well. So we're not done yet. We got some more exploding to do. Meet back at the hideout. Gotcha. So. You can follow them. You can also go this way. Which is actually the train graveyard we read about before. Although, you can run into random encounters here. But there's not really much to do um, at this point. So, unless you want to grind for a bit. But, I mean, I'm going to try and resist grinding. Because I bloody love it, as you know. If you've seen my other Let's Plays. But, um, I'm going to try and resist. I don't want to be too overleveled. And what's this dude doing over here? Excuse me? Do I want to know? Whoa. Oops. What on earth are you doing? Ah, sorry, I interrupted your uh, special me time. You come to see it too? Uh, excuse me? See what? Oh, the pillar. Okay. I thought he was talking about another type of pillar. Anyway, no point worrying about that. It's huge, ain't it? Wait, are we still talking about the pillar? Yeah, yeah, thank god. Whew. That is a mighty impressive structure. Christ. So that's what, like 50 meters then, is it? Must be. Damn, that is... Uh... Imagine building that. This is a strange and wonderful place. This is my place, but you can come here when you want. Bye, bro. Look, we made a friend. Shut up, Barrett. Busy making friends. Something you might have a problem doing if you keep talking to people like that. It's another save point. We don't need to worry about that. Where's my mate gone? Oh, we can't go this way. Uh, hmm. <clears throat> Excuse me, you cannot pass without a proper clearance. Did I do good this time? What? You gotta be tougher. But I, uh, uh, okay. We all gotta start somewhere, buddy. Is that gunfire? Did he just run in there and just shoot up the place? Barrett, use your words next time. Just a polite, excuse me, can you just clear out, guys? We're closed, I don't know. It was that woman that just ran in there. I'm sure we're going to learn very soon. What are you doing? I'm blitzed. I just love them homemade cocktails. They sure do, creep, sure do creep up on you. I don't know why I'm doing that voice. So let's just... Let's just go in there. don't think that's our daughter. Marlene, aren't you going to say anything to Cloud? Welcome home, Cloud. Looks like everything went well. Home? So... Oh, did you fight with Barrett? Um, I'm going to say yeah. Because we kind of did. Always pushing people around. So, I get the impression that she has known us for a while. Oh, she was worried. And this is Tifa, a character that I have always ended up neglecting, really. I might have to use her a bit more, just for, just for a change, but uh, I do like her. She's cool. I much prefer her to another character that I'm not going to go into just yet. Uh, so glad everyone's safe. Right, it's time to hit the booze. Mission successful. Time to celebrate. Oh, Cloud! Tifa really knows how to cook. Mm -mm. Anyway, let me tell you something. I'm not interested in your stories, Wedge. About what? She does, does she? You lucky sod. You are rather rotund. Oh, very nice. Let's, uh... I don't really care about the rest of them. Let's talk to Tifa again. Marlene seems a little shy. Now, yeah, because we didn't get the flowers from the flower girl, 
you can have a choice here to give them to either Marlene or Tifa, and I'm kind of regretting not getting the flowers now, because if you give them to Marlene, I think that's kind of what I wanted to, wanted to do. Oh well, whatever. We uh, can't do that, obviously, so let's, let's just, I don't know, try and leave.